I'm Julie Mayhew and I thought I would uh, tell you a bit more about uh, Mother Tongue, my novel that's out now, and some of the background to, uh, to writing it. When I write uh, a novel, I always start with pictures first and create these kind of big collages on my wall. It really helps me get into the world of the uh, book. So I thought I'd talk about some of the things that have inspired me while I've been writing. The book is set in uh, North Ossetia Alanya, which is in southern Russia. It is part of Russia, but it's sort of separate as well. It has its, its, an, its own autonomous state. And it's a place of big black mountains and wide open spaces, and it has very particular traditions. And it's also quite um, a scary place in the sense that it's on the borders of Ingushetia and it's quite near Georgia, so there, there is the threat of terrorism around there. I really wanted to write about that place because it's, um, it's where teenagers have a really different life to the life of teenagers here, although there are obviously um, crossovers in experiences which I wanted to explore as well. Mother Tongue is about 18-year-old Dasha, who is the eldest of four children, and ever since she was 11 she's had to look after her seven-year-old sister, Nika. Um, because her mother has been quite ill and is taken to her bed. And uh, Dasha really loves Nika, but she, uh, she kind of wants her freedom. She wants some time to herself. So when Nika starts school, she feels like she will have that time to go and find out who she is. But on Nika's first day at school, which is quite a big event in Russia, it's called the Day of Knowledge, and um, everyone gets very dressed up. The little girls put flowers in their hair, and the boys wear bow ties, and there's music, and there's presents for the teachers, and there's often balloons. On that first day of school for Dasha and Nika, there was a siege and hundreds of people are taken hostage and hundreds of people die. But I, I sort of wanted to explore what happens after something like that. What happens after the worst thing has happened to you? Where do you go from there? And I also wanted to explore the idea of home. And if you leave your home, can you actually leave it behind or are you still attached somehow? So the story of uh, Mother Tongue, it borrows quite a lot from one of my favourite writers, Chekhov. And he wrote a play called Three Sisters. And within that play, the three sisters have to go and live in the countryside. And they believe that when they get back to Moscow, when they get to Moscow, their life will be just fine. So I've kind of used that structure within my book. Because I'm really interested in people who feel that they can run away physically from their troubles and that their troubles will not go with them. So the story is, is kind of laced through with lots of Russian poetry, lots of Russian songs. Um, I watch lots of Russian pop music videos. Um, there's a girl group called Fabrica, which are a bit like our Girls Aloud, that do these really vibrant videos, which I find really interesting. I watch lots of Russian commercials, which use a lot of that really dark Russian humour that I really enjoyed. Another big theme in the book is cooking. Uh, Dasha uses cooking as a source of control and a sort of solace in, in when she's troubled. She cooks things like kula bayaka, which is like this big pastry filled with meat and vegetables. Um, she bakes uh, shushki biscuits and her big kind of uh, piece de resistance is this big Napoleon cake with a cherry on top. So despite its uh, terrifying start, for me, um, Mother Tongue is ultimately a joyful book. A really striking image I found when I was doing my research, which was of Epiphany, which happens on January the 6th in Russia. And if you um, have an orthodox belief, you will go to um, a body of water um, where they will carve out holes within the water. Bearing in mind it's probably about minus 20 degrees at that time in Russia, and people will submerge themselves um, in the water to cleanse their souls and to, be, uh, to start again, in a way. And I thought that that image for me really summed up Mother Tongue because it is about um, the strength of human beings to be able to stand up again and start again. Yeah, Mother Tongue is a book about what happens when your heart stops and can it restart again. Thanks for watching. If you want to find out more, the link is below.